Hello, my nerds and turds, my collectors and protectors, my little Fasco Dascos. The Russian Fazbear here. And today, what I've got for you is a 52 inch antique brass Casablanca Zephyr ceiling fan. I got the ceiling fan off of Facebook Marketplace this most recent summer. Uh, it was only $10, so I really couldn't resist that. And it came from Atlantic City. And for those of you on the East Coast, you're probably aware that Atlantic City is a beach town, which means that throughout this fan's life, it was most likely exposed to more than its fair share of sea air, moisture, and just a lot of hot weather in general. Which explains why it has a lot of rust and corrosion, which we are now about to have a look at. you can see the brackets suffered the worst. Scrubbed them with steel wool and cleaned them up pretty good, but still far from perfect. And the blades are painted white. On the camera, it probably looks like they're uh, white from the factory, but if you look at them close enough, you can tell that they used to be a different color and were painted white. And there's the top. You can see that the screws up there also have a bit of rust on them. And then the chain is also rusted. Still pulls, but you know, it has rust on it. And there's the tag. Zephyr, November of 81. And it is slumber quiet, as you can tell by that little knob right there. So yeah, so aesthetically, it's not really in the best shape. Rusty, corroded. Could be a lot worse, definitely, but seen better days, no doubt. Now, with that said, you might be wondering how a fan like this would perform. Well, against what most of you are probably thinking, the fan itself runs perfectly. The Slumber Quiet works. The bearings are pretty much silent, and it's well balanced to boot. Uh, since the fan is mounted as if it were a Hunter original, there is still going to be a bit of wobble. However, compared to most of my other Casablanca fans, this one has minimal wobble. And if it were mounted on the traditional hang true mounting style, there would be no wobble whatsoever. And then that's as slow as it can go, obviously. Yeah, so when I put this fan up, I was pleasantly surprised by how well it runs. Because, I mean, this thing runs better than my other Antique Brass Slumber Quiet Zephyr, which, at least to my knowledge, that fan, you know, was never installed. I mean, installed, you know, in a moisture, sea air area, like this one was. I'll turn it up a bit. as my other one, which I have a video of that's a few years old at this point, which I actually shot in this exact same spot in my garage, ironically enough. That one looks a lot nicer as the finish is, you know, a lot neater, a lot cleaner, but that one, the blades are a little more out of whack and the bearings are a little noisy. I have been working at that fan a little bit to get them to quiet down, and I have had some success, that, success at that, but that is neither here nor there. As for this fan, the bearings are some of the quietest I've ever had on any of my Casablanca fans, in all honesty. It's actually pretty amazing. And the garage light just turned off. Turn it back on as it helps illuminate the uh, shot of the fan I have here. Turn it up some more. This fan has been up for quite a few months now, as it works so well that I really don't want to take it down. I have a lot of fans on the chopping block to be tested, so I think I'm going to have to take this one down to put up some other ones, but I might put this one up elsewhere, I don't know.
yeah, so the fact that this fan was installed in a place, the place that it was, where the outside suffered that much cosmetic wear, but the inner workings remain completely pristine, that to me is a testament to how well made these Casablanca fans are. And sure, Slumber Quiet is a rather faulty system, and the fact that this one, in such conditions that it was, still works is nothing short of a miracle. But still, I mean, these are well-made fans, and this, this fan has really stood the test of time and then some. Then there's like a medium-ish speed. Has a little wobble going, but nothing too big. Again, it's mostly because of the mounting style. Turn it up some more. And then that's just shy of full speed. And like all Zephyrs, this fan is blowing a ton of air. Really good air mover and uh, circulator of air and all that. Of course, on a day like today, when it's about 10 degrees Fahrenheit outside, don't exactly want the fan blowing a ton of air, but if it were a hot day, it'd be really nice. That's just the life when you're a fan collector, you know? and full speed. absolutely silent, except for the sound of the wind being thrusted around. And turn it off. Yeah, so this fan is uh, just living proof that, or not living proof, but it's functional proof that you can't judge a book by its cover. Anyways, that's just about all there is for today. So, thank you all for tuning in, but now, I gotta tune out. Bye!